Our story today is Swimming by Leo Leone. That's the person that wrote the book. What do you think swimming is? I bet you've already guessed it. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. And did you know when all these fish are together, they're called a school? Just like we have kids in a school. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters, and his name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. <gasps> Only Swimmy escaped. Why do you think Swimmy got away? Hmm. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. Now he was all by himself. No friends to play with. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and he swam from marvel to marvel. So he was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. Look at that giant jellyfish. A lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. Lobsters, when you see them, are usually red, but in this in the ocean, they're this more this color. He saw strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. Look at all those nice colors. A forest of seaweed growing from sugar coated rocks. Those are the rocks. And there are plants that live in the ocean, and that's what seaweed is. He saw an eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. Kind of looks like a snake, doesn't it? But it's a fish. And sea anemones, who look like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Don't they look like trees? Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Look, there's all the little red fish again. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Hmm. Do you have any ideas of what they could do? Swimmy thought and thought and thought. And suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. Hmm, I wonder how they're going to do that. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. Look at that. Hmm, here comes some more. What's going to happen? What do you see? And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I will be the eye. Because he, there is swimming. He is the eye because he's all black. And all the fish are swimming together. And they look like a giant red fish. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big 